remember whenever a loved one passes and is no more in this world we write to them we send them messages and we write rest in peace how can the soul actually rest in peace knowing that when the loved ones who are left behind the husband the wife son or daughter is grieving with so much of guilt shame or regret aap kehte hain मैसेज भेजते हैं क्योंकि आजकल हम जा नहीं सकते तो हम लिखते हैं भगवान उनकी आत्मा को शांति प्रदान करे आत्मा को मुझे बताइए शांति कैसे मिलेगी हाउ विल सोल मूव ऑन इफ इट नोज दैट द लव्ड वंस आर नॉट रिमेंबरिंग देम विद लव बट फीलिंग्स ऑफ गिल्ट शेम एंड रिग्रेट ग्रेजुअली रिमेंबर how will you move on now you will need very slowly and gradually you need to move towards a normal life this does not happen in a day it does not happen in a week even but slowly and steadily gradually one has to know and find out the positive intention behind this loss in what ways was this decision of the soul to end the journey of this life here itself why did that happen what is the good thing that is going to come out of it will you focus on this once you know the intention and once you know that that intention was so and so you will be at peace may be the soul did not want the body in which it lived for so many years to endure any more physical pain may be the body had <coughs> no capability the may be the body had actually no capability to take in any more pain at that given point of time so what does the soul do it takes the best decision that can be taken at that point of time what does it do the soul just ends the suffering of the body and by limiting the life span of the body so that the soul can now move on and embark on totally new journey now the soul maybe says this to the body that the clothes that you now wear are all torn and the fiber has become very weak this cloth can no longer be repaired any further so let me give you another body with new fresh set of clothes. it is so simple to understand this truth and that this life and this body is just one of the several lives that the soul has taken and will continue to embody in different bodies so let's shift the focus can you do that can you write down 10 things on a piece of paper what did you learn from the journey of the person you just lost what lessons did your loved one come into your life to teach you what kis liye wo aapki zindagi mein aaye the aap kya sikhane ke liye aaye the kya 10 cheeze aap likh sakte hain chahe wo aapke parents ho chahe aapke spouse ho koi bachcha ho jo bhi ho if you have lost your parents for example share with your own children <coughs> how were their grandparents that is how were they your parents what kind of life did they lead what principles they held on to <clears throat> what was the good thing about them what was the good qualities that they embodied and they stayed for through true throughout their life that will remember <clears throat> help you and your entire family to move on as well as the soul will also move on with positivity the soul would also feel good about the fact that yes they are all remembering me but remembering me with their love and with also the soul would also feel much better and to embark on a further spiritual journey in some religions for example christianity there is a concept of actually celebrating the life of the deceased with good food wine and love people around talking and celebrating his or life's his or her life's journey as an accomplishment and a celebration 
and people do exchange what inspired them most about the life of the departed person. In Hinduism, we also have a rituals on the 13th day, a rite on, in which we actually feed the entire family, clan, tribe. And we, in those times, there are sweets which are made, which the departed person loved the most. And this is nothing but a celebration of life that the person led. And at these times, we should talk about the goodness of that person. In case you have lost a young child, and in untimely death of a husband or a wife who was younger, I really understand most of the times we keep asking ourselves, why me? Why was I chosen by God for such a painful period in my life? I really understand this happens to almost everybody of us where there is an untimely death of a loved one, a child who has not seen much years of their lives, a young spouse, husband, wife. So let's try and accept the fact that the lost one's journey with you was limited to only this much of time. Whatever best you can imbibe from their limited days of life with you, you need to recollect and gather the, those thoughts in your mind together. <clears throat> Do you even have a guilt that a lot of people have told me that they have this kind of a guilt also. That you've just, this happens to me, uh, to a lot of people, that you have just lost somebody a day or two before. And uh, how can I get normal so fast? How can I behave normally? I have lost a dear parent, a wife, or a spouse, or a child. What will people say that she's just lost a parent or a spouse and she's so behaving so normal? She has no grief. There are many people who call you post death when they come to know from your friends, from your relatives, and they do recollect something. And you sometimes on phone end up maybe smiling and laughing at something that they said or reminded you of. And suddenly there is a feeling of feeling guilty. Oh God, I was supposed to be grieving. How can I be laughing? How can I smile at such a sad moment? So you start asking yourself, oh God, such a big disaster me and my family has gone through and look at me I am trying to behave as if nothing has happened I am laughing I am smiling I am trying to behave as if nothing happened <clears throat> I am behaving normal and this is not normal and this is where you again and again go back to feeling guilty the same guilt reappears, the same stress reappears, the same tension, the same feeling low, same feeling depressed comes back. So remember, that's not right. So remember, acceptance of death is the most important lessons we all should have eventually. Let's focus on the lessons now learned in this process. First lesson, acceptance of death. Second lesson, acceptance of self. Third lesson, acceptance of uncertainty. Now let's go one by one. Acceptance of death. We all believe that we are supreme and we have the power to control life. Everything is controllable. We think we are strong people. We are, I'm a strong girl. But remember, acceptance of death is very very important in life this is one of the key learnings of our life each and everybody of you this time has come this time will come when you will have to accept sudden death of a loved one if you haven't be patient it will come to you having said that from personal experience I lost my mother in November 2016 
I lost my dad just now this year 2021 February and these events were not easy for me they have shaken the core of my life till that time I used to always think that our parents are forever our parents will be always present for us they will always be there for me whenever I need them I just need to call them and they'll be there so death and life now I realize are the parts of the same coin are the two sides of the same coin remember if you believe in God some supreme power who created this universe so if your thoughts if your thoughts are continuously of why me why me why was I chosen one why my parents why my husband so if you believe in the Almighty if they have put you in the situation it is definitely for your own good and the universe will take care of the solution also you need not bother about it anymore as of now it's just that the solution is just not visible to you you are standing on the other side of the road and there is there are certain things which are blocking you can't see the solution you can't see the plan the supreme universe has for you it's not visible to you the solution is not visible to you because you're grieving and that is okay take your time out but surely come out of it within some days with the right thought in your mind some suggestions that I would like to give it to you <clears throat> if you can meditate in a calm state now meditation does not mean you have to put on music and sit in that mudra I am not talking of those meditation sitting calm for five minutes is also a sort of meditation so just sit in a calm state and just communicate remember the soul that will depart from this also has an energy field and it is also communicating with you remember their energy the soul's energy is also you are absorbing and the soul is also absorbing your energy so sit in a very calm and relaxed place and say all that you could communicate and you very much wanted to say to your loved one when all of you whatever you could not utter in their presence जो भी कुछ रह गया है जो आप बोल नहीं सके हो वो अनकही बातें अब आप बोलोगे अपने से बात करोगे वो सोल सुन रही है आपको दिखाई भर नहीं दे रही लेकिन सुन रही है so what you could not utter for such a long time whatever you feel you could never say to them just say out in the calm and peaceful voice this is why your heart actually feels heavy because it is laden with these feelings that you could you couldn't bid a goodbye to them the closure was not there bahut kuch adhura chhoot gaya piche so there's so much left unsaid to your loved one just say it we at times feel that how can we communicate and talk now this person is not longer here also the person cannot see us but remember the soul is listening all the time so talk about all that you can think that was left unsaid to that soul say it and you will feel much lighter the the burden that you have is the burdens of unsaid unfelt emotions you will feel lighter so just go ahead and empty your head and try and do it fast enough don't delay in that whatever whenever you meditate that does not mean it has to be a ritual even when you pray to god for two minutes in the morning every day you can always say this I am thankful for the way you have contributed in my life address to that loved one 
and made it richer, fulfilling and worthwhile to live. And I pray that you move on now and go to your spiritual onward journey now. All the difficulties and illnesses that you so boldly tried to overcome in the last days of your life, just that suffering ends here. There is no more suffering to you now. And now I want you to begin a new journey with a totally new body and a totally new fresh set of clothes. Each of your loved one who transcended this universe, remember it is their decision. It is their decision to end their journey, not yours. It is definitely not your decision to take when a life ends. It is just your decision to take when your life will end. But definitely you do not exercise that control over others and even your loved ones. So you have to just bless them. And say, I pray that the soul goes to the next journey now without any hindrances and obstacles. Shift your focus and celebrate now the life of the departed soul and have gratitude to your loved ones with happiness. Give gratitude to your loved ones for the life that they gave you, for the life that was so worthwhile, for the life that taught you so much. Imagine and visualize your loved ones sitting right now in front of you and ask them what you should do remember if your loved one was alive today and they sat in front of you and if you ask them what you should do now what would this have told you kya bola hota unhone kya ye nahi bola hota ki just move on aur aage badho life mein maine jo sikha hai wo imbibe karke aapko aage badhna hai मेरी जर्नी खत्म हो गई थी और अब मैं एक नए वस्त्र नए शरीर से आगे जा रहा हूं सो वोट दे हैव एनी आंसर अदर देन टेलिंग यू टू मूव ऑन वोट दे से दैट प्लीज रिलीज मी फ्रॉम दिस अटैचमेंट एंड यू गेट अ क्लोजर ऑन दिस एंड मूव ऑन एंड मेक योर लाइफ एज नॉर्मल and as fast as you can what is important is as fast as you can it's normal to grieve but there's a limit to grieving so i hope you have understood what i am trying to say and this video would have given you some ray of light over the past few days where you have been battling the loss of a loved one i wish you all the very best and i wish the souls that have that you have lost all the very best for their onward journey and may you live a life of peace and calmness and continue with your life as if normal thank you so much this is nikta gupta signing off in case you need to consult me on any grief counseling you can very well do that my number is 7666968348 send me a whatsapp message first with your name and location and i will get back to you just don't make calls directly i am in most sessions back to back counseling so just leave a message for me i will get back to you thank you so much stay home and stay safe